everyone. I'm Pat Prokop in the Heavenly Backyard Garden. Now, you know I just love looking up in the sky and shooting different astronomical targets. But wouldn't it be interesting to see what a target looks like from shooting from here in Savannah, Georgia, and then perhaps another person across the Atlantic Ocean over in, say, east of London, England. And then, hmm, how about another one over to the uh, west, over in uh, somewhere around Colorado, south of Denver? Well, that's exactly what we're going to do today. Three of us, Glenn Clowder from England, uh, Joe Navarro from Colorado, and me right here in Savannah, Georgia. We're going to shoot the Dumbbell Nebula all at the same time. The goal here is to get the image to be spectacular. And you know what? Stick around to the end. I think you're going to see what I'm talking about. Spectacular. Welcome to Heavenly Backyard Astronomy. This M27 project, or the Dumbbell Nebula project, started back in June. Now, I was able to get my first images on June 26th. Now, we've been battling a lot of rain here in Savannah, Georgia, and I found out Glenn Clowder in England has the same issue, as well as uh, Joe Navarro in the uh, southeast Colorado. They've been getting a lot of clouds and rain. But over the time, we were able to get a few clear nights, and we were, we were able to shoot the the nebula with different types of telescopes with all similar types of telescope and different types of filters and we're putting this all together. Let's take a look at uh, Joe Navarro from Colorado. Joe, what you got? Hi Pat and Glenn. I'm very excited to be working on this project with both of you. Tonight and maybe for the next couple nights I'm going to be using the Edge HD8 with the focal reducer on it so that I'm going to be around 1422 millimeter focal length. I've got the ASI 294mm Pro as my main imaging camera and the ASI 174mm Mini as my guiding camera and I'm using the Celestron OAG guider. I've got, also got the ZWO electronic autofocuser focusing this beast and it's all sitting on the EQ6R Pro mount. Good luck guys. Thanks Joe. I'm looking forward to those pictures. And across the pond, over in England, Glenn Clowder, what's your telescope like? What you got? Hi Joe, hi Pat. I hope you're both well. And thank you ever so much for uh, collaborating all together. It's uh, such a great thing to do. I really enjoy it and always learn something. So uh, thanks ever so much. For my part of the project tonight on the M27 Dumbbell Nebula, I'm going to be using the Altair Astro RC8. I've got it uh, on a reducer, a 0.75 reducer, so it'll take it from 1600 to 1200 millimeters, and from f8 to f6. The camera I'm going to be using is my ASI 294mm Pro, and I'm going to be shooting through just two filters tonight, the HA and the O3 both three nanometers and both chroma filters. I'm going to be focusing on just that data. I know that uh, Pat you've got one shot color so you're going to be getting some LRGB data for us and I do believe Joe is going to be shooting some RGB, HA and O3. So it's going to be really interesting to bring it all together and see what we actually come up with. I know that we've all got different scopes. Joe and I share the same camera. I know yours is different Pat but uh, it should be a really interesting project and I'm quite excited to see what we can come up with on the Dumbbell Nebula. I know that my early attempts on it have always been a little bit underwhelming to me, but never mind. Anyway, I wish you both luck and uh, long may the skies stay clear for us all. Speak to you soon. Thanks, Glenn. As, as with Joe, I can't wait to see the images that you come up with that, that rig over there in London or just east of London. And here's my setup. This is what I presented. Hi everyone, I'm Pat Prokop in the Heavenly Backyard Garden in Savannah, Georgia. And first of all, I need to pause and say thank you to Glenn and Joe for including me into their project. It's an honor to serve with you two guys. Anyway, the telescope that I use to shoot at the target M27, or commonly known as the Dumbbell Nebula, uh, is the Orion Eon triplet. It's a 130 millimeter refractor telescope with a focal length of um, 
what is it, 910 millimeters, 910 millimeters. I did use a filter. This is the Altair quad band filter uh, for narrow band for uh, one shot color cameras. And the camera that I used was the ZWO ASI 071 uh, one shot color camera. Now, I am very excited uh, to be part of this project and can't wait to see the final product. This is going to be a fantastic project. Now we started this project near the end of June. My first image came in on June 26th. I was able to get a few more after that with a, a, a great session on the night of July 4th after all the fireworks, uh, the sky was clear and I was able to get several hours of the Dumbbell Nebula with my rig here. And, and then we got together on Sunday, July 18th by Zoom and we were able to Comp com compile all these images together. Most of the work done on Joe Navarro's computer in Colorado as Glenn um, uh, helped and I sat by and, and watched and helped a little bit as well. But the final image, well, you just wait. It's spectacular. So what is the Dumbbell Nebula? This planetary nebula is about 1,360 light years away and is located in the Sagittarius arm of the Milky Way galaxy. It is within an asterism known as the Summer Triangle of the bright stars of Vega, Deneb, and Altair. The nebula is located just above Altair as seen in this image of the area of the sky that I took the other night. The nebula formed as a star ended its life in a massive explosion about 9,800 years ago. The remnants of that star is now a very hot white dwarf, which can be seen as a small blue star in the center. The radiation of this dwarf star continues to illuminate the emission cloud of the gas particles from that massive explosion, along with several shock waves emanating outward. The Dumbbell Nebula can be easily seen in binoculars and small telescopes in a dark sky in the summer months. Because the ones we've done already have the, the HA in it, and then we'll be really yeah. HA heavy. So create new image. Make sure it's RGB. It should be already. Oh. Okay. That's so good, but it's there. Wow. Some... Look at those shock waves, gee. Yeah. Huh. How does that look to you, Joe? Because obviously you've got a better look at it because you're on the actual native monitor, um, aren't you? Yeah, I mean, it just... Go back to where you wow. were. And then click the one on the right. It just goes before and after. This one? Yeah. So let me... Okay, so let me zoom in. There we go. And then toggle this. If you literally just bring it out a bit at the bottom. Yeah, it, it brings out that those outer shock waves. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. And, and it, it does fix the interior a little bit more. Oh, let me see that. Oh, yeah, you're right. Does, yeah. I am so grateful that they included me on their project. Well, I, I am in between Colorado and England to some extent, a little bit closer to Colorado, but still uh, a large distance in between us. And the, the, the project just turned out to be spectacular, in my opinion. Take a look again at the Dumbbell Nebula from the three different telescopes that we compiled together. Thanks for watching, and remember, the heavens are filled with majestic glories, and if you don't believe me, look at this picture, and they're all in a sky near you. Unless you need rain, clear skies, everyone.